This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Allergen Management Key Definitions for Allergen Management Allergen a normally harmless substance which creates a reaction in the body of a sensitive individual. Cross-contact, description of the incidence of allergenic materials becoming part of a foodstuff or process not specified to contain that foodstuff as a declared ingredient. Cross-contamination, description of the incidence of an unwanted material becoming part of a foodstuff or process. Food intolerance. Food intolerance is an adverse food-induced reaction that does not involve the immune system HACCP, hazard analysis critical control point or HACCP is a science-based risk management system, relying on identification and recognition of specific hazards, it nominates measures for their control to ensure the safety of food. Immunoglobulin E or IgE, a substance created by the human body after an allergic person has consumed a particular allergenic food potentially resulting in anaphylaxis, hives, asthma, or other common symptoms of an allergic reaction. Allergen Management Development When considering the development, documentation and implementation of allergen management within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes about allergen management. About allergens Food intolerance Foods commonly associated with allergies about allergen management. Food allergens only affect a relatively small percentage of the population, but can be life-threatening under certain circumstances. Allergens are contained within many different foods and food ingredients, but can also be introduced into foods through an appropriate production scheduling, raw material contamination, ineffective raw material, product and work in progress identification and traceability and ineffective cleaning and sanitation programs. Allergen management programs should be applied with the intent of controlling and managing the use of allergenic materials, production processes and prerequisite programs within any food business. Historical food safety and quality management systems utilized cross-contamination as a term to define allergen interactions. Contemporary food safety and quality management systems use the term cross-contact meaning there may be an acceptable limit of specified allergens within a particular foodstuff. The term cross-contamination generally indicates the unacceptable presence of a substance within foodstuffs. About allergens An allergy is the reaction of the immune system to a normally harmless substance. This occurs when the body mistakenly believes that a food is harmful, and creates specific antibodies to attack the substance. The next time the individual eats that particular food, the immune system releases massive amounts of chemicals including histamines which are intended to protect the body against the substance. These chemicals can cause a variety of allergic symptoms that can affect the respiratory system, gastrointestinal tract, skin or cardiovascular system. Allergies are often mistaken for a food intolerance or sensitivity, which are generally of less concern than genuine allergies. Provided within the documented training materials is an example flow process as showing the mechanics of food allergy reactions. Allergenic sensitivities vary from one person to another and it is possible to be allergic to an extraordinary range of substances. A common example of a genuine allergic reaction occurs when the body creates immunoglobulin E or IgE antibodies after the person has consumed the food. When these IgE antibodies react with the food, Histamine and other chemicals called mediators can cause hives, asthma, or other common symptoms of an allergic reaction. This reaction is usually classed as an anaphylaxis, which is a sudden, severe and potentially fatal allergic reaction that can involve numerous systems within and on the exterior of the body. One form of treatment for anaphylaxis is the administration of sterile epinephrine to the person experiencing anaphylaxis, which suppresses the body's overreaction to the allergen and allows time for the patient to be transported to a medical facility. Food intolerance Food intolerance is an adverse food-induced reaction that does not involve the immune system. True food allergies include an activation of the immune system. An example of food intolerance is lactose intolerance, 
which is usually when a person does not have any or enough of the enzyme required to digest milk or milk products. If a lactose intolerant person consumes milk or milk products, they might suffer from bloating and abdominal pain, but there is no production of any chemicals related to the immune system within the body. Foods Commonly Associated with Allergies A variety of foods contain ingredients that can cause adverse reactions in hypersensitive individuals. Most adverse food reactions are caused by the following foods and products made from them, peanuts and products containing peanuts, tree nuts including almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, pecans, pine nuts, pistachios and walnuts and products containing tree nuts, sesame seeds and products containing sesame seeds, milk and products containing milk, egg and products containing egg, fish and products containing fish, crustaceans including crab, crayfish, lobster, and bronze and products containing crustaceans, shellfish including clams, mussels, oysters and scallops and product containing shellfish, soy and products containing soy, wheat gluten and products containing wheat gluten, sulfites and products containing sulfites. It is important that products containing even small amounts of the allergens listed above are identified with appropriate labeling to ensure allergen sufferers can avoid relevant foods. Other foods such as pumpkin, celery, celeriac, corn, maize, legumes are also often found to be food allergens. Common hidden sources of allergens in foods include peanuts. Peanut oil is sometimes used as an ingredient or a processing aid. Asian foods may contain peanuts in the form of oil, pastes, sauces or garnish. Crushed nuts which are commonly used within baked goods and desserts may contain peanuts. Producers, processors and packers of other nuts may use the same equipment for peanuts. Some breakfast cereals may contain peanuts. Tree nuts Some manufactured meat products may contain tree nuts, for example, pistachio nuts in mortadella. Dessert items may contain tree nuts, or traces of tree nuts. Baked goods such as crackers and cereals may contain tree nuts. Some breakfast cereals may contain tree nuts. Sesame seeds Some Asian and Middle Eastern foods may contain sesame seeds in the form of oil, pastes, sauces or garnish. Sesame is often used within sauces such as tahini and hummus. Milk Casein a milk protein is often used in processed fish, meat and non-dairy products. Butter and cream are often found within ready-to-eat prepared foods from restaurants and cafes. Meat slicing equipment is often used to slice meats, dairy products and other items. Eggs Egg albumin protein may be used as a processing aid, in both dried and wet forms. Egg lecithin emulsifier may be used an agent in processed items. Whole or parts of eggs may be used in dressings such as mayonnaise. Some pastas and pasta products may contain egg, both within the pasta, and fillings. The equipment used to make egg-free pasta may also be used to produce pasta that contains egg. Fish, crustaceans and shellfish. Ethnic dishes from regions such as the Mediterranean, Northern Africa and Asia often contain fish, crustaceans and shellfish. This includes fish content within sauces and ingredients such as fish sauce, oyster sauce, dried anchovies, whole anchovies and other dried fish, crustaceans and shellfish varieties. Fish, crustacean or shellfish stock may be used in prepared foods, both within foods and sauces. Traditional Worcestershire sauce contains anchovies. Omega-3 is commonly sourced from fish. Soy. Soy and soy products are often used as processing additives within fish, meat, dairy and non-dairy products. Soy oil is sometimes used as an ingredient, processing aid or lubricant. Asian foods may contain soy and soy products in the form of oil, pastes, sauces or garnish. Soy products such as tofu and fresh, fried, paste, dried or marinated forms may be used in some Asian foods. Derivatives of soy are often used in food processing for their functional effects on processed or manufactured foods. Wheat gluten. Wheat products are often used as functional additives within fish, meat, dairy and other products. Wheat glucose may contain traces of gluten. Sulfites. 
Sulfites are given many different names including sulfur dioxide, sodium sulfite, sodium bisulfite, sodium metabisulfite, potassium bisulfite and potassium metabisulfite. Sulfites are commonly used as a preservative in many food products and beverages. Celery and celeriac. Celery may be found within many different types of ethnic cuisines. Celery seeds may be used within savory flavorings such as compound seasonings. Celery is often used in beverages such as the popular Bloody Mary. Dehydrated celery may be present within processed foods. Celeriac, also called turnip rooted celery, celery root, or knob celery, is commonly used for a puree for modern restaurant dishes. Celery or celeriac leaves or shoots may be found within leafy salad mixes. Coconut Various types of coconut products include coconut water, coconut milk, coconut cream, coconut oil, coconut milk powder and coconut sugar. Coconut may be found within confectionery of baked products. Many different ethnic cuisines contain various forms of coconut products. Coconut may be present within dairy products such as yogurt and ice cream. Coconut sugar may be used as a sweetener. Garlic and onion Garlic and onion may be present in many forms, including fresh, dried, freeze-dried, whole, cut, minced or fermented. Many different regional cuisines contain various forms of garlic and onion products. Garlic and onion may be infused into liquids such as oil. Salad dressings and sauces may contain garlic and onion. Lupin Processed foods, health food, Nutritional supplements and bakery items may contain lupins. Bakery premixes and some processed crumb products may include lupin. Lupin flour or ground lupins may be used within items such as pastries, pies, pancakes, pizza and pasta. Batter-coated food products may contain lupin. Mustard Mustard is commonly used as an ingredient within many savory foods. Salad dressings, sauces, Pickles and relishes may contain mustard. Regional foods may include mustard seeds or mustard flour as an ingredient. Processed and unprocessed meat products may be flavored with mustard. Yeast Yeast and yeast extract may be found within many different food products. Health foods and supplements may contain yeast. Many different bakery items contain yeast. Brewed and fermented items may contain yeast. Overripe fruit or vegetables may contain elevated levels of yeast. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes? Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business? The information and training resources available through HACCP.com included a variety of formats, such as, website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.